Hi everyone, I'm Belen Donate and I will be presenting my thesis work named Data Literacy for the Development of Learning Analytics in K-12 Environments, directed by Francisco José García Peñalbo and co-directed by Daniela Mofilo. This presentation contains the main ideas of the present work and is composed of eight sections. Firstly, the context motivation and the state of the art. Subsequently, the hypothesis, objectives, methods and results at the current moment. And finally, we will see a discussion of the result and expected contributions. The concept of learning analytics has been around for years, but it wasn't until the 2020 COVID pandemic that it became as relevant as it is today. During the lockdown, more than 1.5 million students were excluded from face-to-face -face education. In turn, this event has pushed institutions to introduce modification in educational methodology. For instance, hybrid learning methods, online assessment, and the development of digital competencies. This situation entails changes in both teachers and pupils, as improvements in their perception of digital competencies, but also an increase in stress. In this vein, educational digitization enables data management, which means support in this educational decision-making process. Also, it provides policy frameworks and the ability to give sufficient guidance and protection to students. Indeed, new practices reveal a lack of digital and data literacy skills in teachers at K-12 levels. As a consequence, we formulated two hypotheses. The practice and research of learning analytics are still in the emerging stages, and the level of data literacy in primary and secondary schools in Spain is limited. The following objectives were developed to test said hypotheses. The main one focuses on understanding and promoting the state of the art of learning analytics in K-12 education in Spain. The specific objectives are to develop an instrument that allows us to know the empirical state of the question of data literacy, to apply the instrument for self-assessing the level of data literacy, to publish the results obtained in a digital observatory of learning analytics, to promote the self-identification of training needs for the development of learning analytics, and to generate a training literary that responds to the needs found in teachers for data literacy. The methodology has been divided in two strands, a systematic literature review, which follows the PRISMA methodology, and self-assessment development on competencies data management. For its design, a documentary methodology with a qualitative approach was developed. The results obtained in the systematic literature review show a lack of learning analytic articles. The emerging development of learning analytics is visible at K-12 levels. On the other hand, along with the elaboration, design, and validation of the self-questionnaire, we found out that the population will require knowledge simplification. Therefore, students seem to be unfamiliar with data management concepts. So we are reformulating the instrument to improve the comprehension of the items. The method chosen will be expert validation using FATI Delphi, aiming to obtain a reliable digital observatory of the degree of competence in Ultimately, the self-assessment questionnaire administration will be crucial to generate an observatory of the situation and confirm the hypothesis. We cannot ignore that the frameworks encompass a broader population than the K-12 stages. For instance, we can find a solution readapting the vocabulary and the item's background. To improve the validity and the reliability of the instruments, this work fostered the continuation of collecting comments and assessments that reflect the data literacy of the educational agent at these stages. The subsequent thesis steps will be a second questionnaire validation from October to January 2023, the questionnaire administration in primary and secondary education schools in Spain, subsequently the evaluation of the results and the elaboration of affirmative programs on learning analytics. Many thanks for your attention, in particular a special greeting to the University of Salamanca, the University of La Salle and the research group Real for making the development of this project possible.